Hi guys and welcome to my channel and this is Tank Talk Tuesday and in Tank Talk Tuesday this week we have our special guest the Chieftain Mark VI. Now this Chieftain Mark VI itself is relatively new I think it's just been out about a year now um, there is, it is the British Heavy but it's more like a heavy medium than I would say a heavy as such a frontline heavy like his brother the FV215B um, we, you know, I, I've done a uh, tank talk on that, and uh, yeah, it was pretty good, to be fair. Uh, first game was a bit shocking, but still. Um, but this tank holds up very well. Its, um, it's, it's, it's manoeuvrability is is the best. I mean, the gun's okay. Uh, the armor's okay. Uh, it's just like a big a medium tank as such. Um, so let's look at the packages on this tank. As he had a 120mm gun. Um, oh, um, I don't know what's gone on there. Why did I do that? Um, <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing here. There we go. Press triangle. Uh, <laughs> right. So it has um, a better re a better accuracy than the FV two FV two one five B. The pen's much better as well with two hundred seventy to three hundred ten. Same damage though, obviously. Aiming in time is better as well at 0.5 rather than... I know it's 0.5 on the FV215B, so the aiming in time is very similar. Um, I do compare these tanks because obviously they're both tier 10s. You can both reach those tier 10s, and I'll show you um, in the tech tree. Now, I uh, a little kind of uh, controversy here. I The first grind ever was my FV215B. Didn't spend a penny, didn't kind of convert any um, stars. As so I didn't can't touch any stars on that route. But then when the Chieftain came out, I was really excited. So I played probably about 50 games in my Conqueror and then decided to kind of gold skip the way. But um, it is a remarkable tank. I do like it. Um, the Conqueror was amazing to play as well, to be fair. So let's look at the armor of this tank. Overall, the armor looks pretty solid. Apart from, as I've said... Your British tanks seem to be weak in lacking armor at the front. Um, obviously, you know that's there's obviously reasons for that, but the turret is phenomenal. I mean, it, it just it just you you have to kind of hide your bottom plate. Once you hide your bottom plate and use the tank to, to its potential, which is ridge lines, because as I haven't said, it has ten degrees of gun depression. That is just phenomenal. It just it's amazing, really. Uh, it's got a forty two kmh. Like I said, it it gets that speed very quite doesn't get it quickly but it does get it there the hit points are not as much as the fv215b which is 2300 for the fv25b and 2200 for the chieftain so its view range is bare is pretty good in its class as well i mean it just overall is a heavy medium tank and i know it's strange to say that but it is so yeah like i said 10 degrees of gun depression accuracy we've gone through is 0.32 um, the chances of fire is 10% on this one. It's not as much because obviously it's rear mounted engine. So unless you're silly that and you just let someone have your rear end, they're going to set you on fire. So I like the Chieftain in that respect because it just feels more comfortable to my play style. The FE215B, you kind of have to, you know, side scrape and it's very difficult to kind of have good games with. But let's see how we get on with the Chieftain um, at tier 10. So this is the Chieftain British Heavy tier 10. Um... Uh, fun fact on PC, they bought it out ages and ages ago. Um, they got rid of the FV215B and replaced it with the Super Conqueror, uh, which everyone seems to be using. Um, but they haven't got the Chieftain on... Sorry, re I rephrase that. They haven't got the Chieftain on um, PC, which is funny, really, because console have. So, uh, you know, that's... Uh, I, a lot of PC players that have gone to console um, and said, you know, they don't like console, but they'll play it for you know, a couple of games and do videos on it. They love the Chieftain because they feel that it should be in, you know, it should be in the PC version, but it's not. So, um, you know, unfortunately for them, it's not. But fortunately for us, we've got it. Um, so let's use it to its best ability. We are top tier. There is a few tier 10s. So we say 10 tier 10s uh, or maybe 12 tier 10s, 2, 4, 6, 8, 8 tier 10s then. Can't count today. So I'm kind of really need to be using cover. Um, I really need to be using the ridge lines. So we're going to head to the west of the map. Uh, over this side. Yep, we're going to head to the west. Uh, we'll follow the Tiger 2 and we'll follow these guys. Jagdpanzer E100 and Leopard 1. 
<clears throat> so as you can see, it's got quite a nice... It aesthetically looks really cool as well. I like that. That's the one thing I do like about this tank. But it's not really... Like I said, it doesn't really get... The, the ground traverse itself, or depending on the ground itself, is quite slow in that respect. But um, I suppose it is quite a heavy tank. So, you know. It's good that we've got guys coming this way, but there's not that many guys down the bottom. So we'll see. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, what else can I say about this tank and what else really would you like to know? Um, yeah, I mean, I just, it's got armor piercing round as standard, um, which is good. And then the other armor piercing rounds are your premium rounds, which are a much better pen as well. So, it, you know, people think, oh, look, he's firing gold. Well, technically I'm not firing gold because this gets, uh, like the, uh, like the, um, like the German tanks it gets, or any medium tanks in this game, they give it the APCR round, so... That's why I think the Chieftain is probably a fan favourite on console because it's new. It's the new tier 10, you know, the new tier British ten, tier 10, shall I say. Um, and I kind of think the FE2 on 5B is that's what it's been lacking lately. Um, so, you know, we'll see. Um, it, you know, I, I, it just depends on what you prefer, really. Here we go, bounce them all day. <laughs> Don't know what that was from. Um, I'm guessing that was from... It was from the T-34 there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, hmm, didn't pen the KV-5 there. Uh, we got an IS-4. I'm probably not going to pen him. Oh, I did. Bottom plate of the pen there. So we just pull back, get reload, pull back in again. We know he's got 12 seconds to read. Fire. He's going to sit there and be silly, then that's fine. I'm not going to repair because I haven't been really damaged that much. <laughs> I bounced that one. Pull him back now. So, you know, you just got to kind of keep going like that. I mean, the reload is phenomenal on this thing. I'm not going to get through a superstructure there. I mean, I don't understand why this guy is doing that. <laughs> he's uh, he's not moving. I'm just going to keep damaging him. Um, so it looks good for me. And hopefully as he moved. He hasn't moved, so I don't know what's going on here. Why he thinks he can... I'm hold down. And then we're just going to... We're just going to take him out of the game. So, there we go. Um, <clears throat> that's what a chief can, can, chieftain can do. Just use his mobility. We'll just get the KV-5 there. Look, he knows this. He, I mean, he must know, surely, that I'm going to uh, be doing damage. Oh, I just missed there. That's unfortunate. <sighs> Artillery is the only vein. There we go. Come on. So if we can keep this up, we should be all right. No, I shouldn't have fired there. That was a bit of a silly, silly shot there. Can't see him, so why would I fire? There we go, GW Tiger Pig there. I'm not going to repair it because I'm going to pull back once he's reloaded. Now I'm going to pull back just because artillery knows my position. I don't know what that was. Was it a waffle? We didn't penetrate their armor. So now we're going to try and... Ouch, that's the waffle. She's loaded. Penetration. <sighs> I've kind of got to be out of sight, out of mind here. I bounced off the side there. Can you see that? I mean, did you see that? Oh, no. And get a clutch shot there, nice. So, <clears throat> yeah, I kind of held it up for my team, but I now know that I'm screwed because I've got still got the WAF. Oh, it's T95, that was what was spotting me. I'm in a, a st tricky situation here, guys.
There's the T95, but the... I need to get rid of that KV85. That's uh, why KV5. Come on, target. Give me a target. Go on, good boy. That's it. Enemies looking right, at us. right. Now I might need to go head back down to... Yeah, I'm going to head back down. Uh, I'm going to get some more hits on these Ferdinands and that lot. I think they can take care of the T95, so that would be a good idea. Target locked. I need to be wary of T95. I also need to be wary of that light tank. And the fatherland there. Um, but yeah, I think overall this is going to be a good gameplay. Um, hopefully we can win, but... Um, T95 is down there, so I'm not going to worry about him. So yeah, you just really need to know what you're up against with this tank. But to be fair, it's held its own. Um, I think it's a phenomenal game for me, actually, to be fair, in this tank. I don't always have great games like this. Um, so yeah, I mean... Let me just see. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me, that is not good uh, news for me. That's definitely not good for me. He's room. And, yeah, that was the Panzer 7. That was my own fault. Oh, that was such a good game. 13 pens there. I mean, it looks like we're going to win. Um, and my mistake, I didn't take into consideration the Panzer, the Panzer could see me. Um, you know, perhaps I was hoping that my teammates could help me. But, you know, I, I sh you shouldn't rely on help when you're in a Big Daddy Chieftain. So, this has been a good game. Um, I... I, I can't say that it's amazing. Well, I know I can say it's amazing for me, but for the you, uh, you know, for you average, you know, for you better players out there, that wouldn't be really. That'd just be an average game. So, um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up because it's really good to me. Um, and we'll see, we'll see what this uh, Scorpion G can do against this big, massive, fat um, German tier uh, heavy tank. So. I mean, yeah, of course. Um, but now he's kind of stuck because uh, that's the problem with the Panzer, Panzer 7 there. Scorpion G will finish him off there. What a great game that was for me. So that's our first win of the season here, or first win of our series. Out of three videos here, we finally won one. So this is brilliant. Um, let's see uh, how much I get. Look at that. I made 35 grand in tier 10. Four and a half K damage there, guys. So that's probably one of my highest. The great assist there being 3,000. So all in all, that is a, a staggering. Um, I want to say 7,500, something like that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think I'm happy with that, to be fair. Uh, 7,000 K game uh, combined, I think that's good. Um, base XP of 1,300, so yeah. Very good, guys. Um, like I said, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and we'll see you next week in Tank Talk Tuesday. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. And happy...